I can smell it, actually, I can smell it from here. I can, it fucking stinks. And I can confirm that this is a massive, I remember from, I'd say the 90s. Right, I am back at a place which nearly took my life last year. Let's get that torch in here. <gasps> Shit, that's coming in fast. That is coming in fast. I need to go, I need to go. Well, I'm not messing. If you want to see that video, I'll put it in the little description now at the top. But yeah, so I'm at um, somewhere called uh, the Cast Iron or the Cassie. It's, um, it's Cast Iron Shore, just at the end of Crescenton. Now, Crescenton Esplanade is like a private little promenade and it takes you right along to a view of what you can see the gas and docks. You can also see a uh, World War II pillbox just there. I've done videos on that in the past. I'll link them in the description. Now, I used to come here years ago, like once, twice, maybe a week, and walk along this little sort of like beach, what you can access here. You've got to access this from like about a mile down the road. So the tide's out, not due in for another couple of hours. And normally I find what I like to call treasure. Other people call it mudlarking, but it's just a case of today. Nice weather, the tide's out for a while. Let's go and see if I can find any sort of rings, bracelets or jewellery or anything that's being thrown over the edge because this place is renowned for that and I have found quite a lot of stuff in the past. So anyway, without further ado, let's get exploring. Right, so I've done a bit of homework today and the tide is out and it's out for a few hours. I definitely, definitely checked it as well. Let's have a little look. Oh, right, so the tide's out for about four hours. Now, if you remember last time I was here, things didn't go to plan, so it was a little bit hairy, should we say, but I've double checked it today, although Eric did have to correct me on that. So, as you can see, the tide is pretty much out. So today, yeah, I just thought, a little bit of mudlarking as they call it, or treasure hunting, because there's always stuff discarded further up towards uh, Crescenton Way. So hopefully it's just a quick video today. Uh, see how much treasure we can find. Now just listen to this. I'm gonna stop talking. Complete and utter silence. Just the little hum of wildlife in the background and going about the daily business. So we're just coming up now to another video, which, oops, another video which I've done down here, which is back lane. I'm not gonna show you, I'm not gonna go up it, but I'll pop a link in the description of that video. Very interesting. I always leave that to last. See if I can find some treasure today which has been washed up back lane. So we're going to continue on anyway. Up towards Crescenton Esplanade. I always say that wrong. But that's where the main rubbish or treasure gets tossed over the edge, should we say. So it's quite a lengthy walk, actually. Just got to go there and then turn left straight up. Also to another video which I've done, which is the World War II bunker at the end, or World War II pillbox, I should say. So, this is where the treasure hunting begins. So I'm gonna whack some gloves on, get the bag out the pocket and see what we can find. Another funny thing is as well, you get people walking up here, just there, someone going past there. And when they hear someone down here talking, they're like, where's that coming from? And then they pop their heads over and you're like, hello, I'm just treasure hunting. Look at it though. Absolute peace. So I'm just coming up to halfway now. Now this is at the point where it bends around and then takes you down to the uh, World War II pillbox. I say I'll probably stop there, have a quick drink and uh, make my way back. I have definitely, definitely got a couple of hours window on this tide 
I think it was low at half 11 and high at about oh, three o'clock in the afternoon, if I remember rightly. But like I say, Eric did have to correct me. So at the moment, I found nothing really of any sort of significance, nothing to report, but you don't normally find stuff down this way. This now is where you get to find the good stuff. Now, this place has never let me down. Um, there's a first for everything, so today could be one of those days. So what we'll do is we'll just slowly walk up this beach and see what we can find in the uh, amongst all the rocks and the bricks and that. Some have been crabbing down here. Yeah, someone's been crabbing by the looks of it. I think we'll just leave that there. Whatever that is looks alive. Is it? You get to see some uh, natural sand here as well. You see more of it up here, actually. Someone above there on the phone. Absolutely beautiful here. Nice warm day as well. I think it is today, the 1st of May. So far, oh, nothing to report. Right, so, so far at the moment, there is nothing that I can sort of say, look what I found. And we're not far from the end now. So this could be a bit of a fail, could be a first. Because as I say, I've never failed down here. I found rings, bracelets, oh, you name it, gold stuff and just some quite expensive stuff in the past. But what I'm going to do is I normally, it's normally on the way back when I properly see things. But yeah, there's nothing at the moment. There's a lock. Well, I found that. I thought it was a wallet full of money, but on close inspection, um, it's a battery of a phone that has exploded, basically. So, hmm, interesting. Ah, this is going to be a fail, this I think. Even one little item, one little item, I'll be happy with. One little item of jewellery, anything. Looks like some discarded scaffold clamps. like it's off an old electrical socket maybe the porcelain yeah hmm. probably one of those dead old houses up there What's that? Oh, bottle top plastic we'll leave that for the turtles to choke on right okay so That has got to be a first. Now I've walked quite slow as well. And I've got to the end where this World War II pillbox is here. And I have found absolutely nothing. So I think on the way back, I'm just going to go a little bit further out. And um, yeah, so I'm going to do, I'm going to get up here, just get on this pillbox, have a quick drink and uh, make my way back down. Right, so I've just went a little bit further past the pillbox and uh, some guy was watching me, just asking me what I was doing, so I uh, gave him a brief description and there was a football, brand new Nike football, so I said, do you want this for your lad? It's only a little baby, like, but he said, yeah, go ahead, I'll have it. And then he said to me, um, I can smell it, actually, I can smell it from here. I can, it fucking stinks. He said, is that a sheep? And I looked and the smell was getting drafted, wafted over. And I can confirm that this is a massive, is it a sheep? It's actually not a sheep. It's actually, ooh. I'm not gonna get too close because it bloody stinks, but it looks like it's neither a horse or a pony. Wow. Wow. I thought it was too big to be a sheep, but 
Jesus Christ. That is a dead. Oh God. It's a dead horse or a pony. Oh man, it stinks. Now I'm no expert, but I'd say it's a pony. Now where the bloody hell has that come from? Oh my God. Now I don't normally film things, but like dead things, but Jesus. I'll just compose myself and then I'll uh, Definitely, definitely not a sheep, that. Oh, man. Whew, it stinks. It absolutely friggin' stinks. Right, like I mentioned, I don't normally film dead animals, but just in case someone has lost one of their ponies or horses, I don't quite know what it is. I just thought I'd film it. Where that's come from, I do not know. But there's the poor thing there. Now oh, it's covered in flies. And closer inspection. I don't know what it is, honestly. I really don't know. So whatever that is, obviously it's long gone. But the poor thing must have died. A really, really horrible death. It's hard to tell. Is it a sheep? Is it a pony? Whatever it is, it's now rest on the mersey. So I just thought, you know what? I don't know if anyone's lost an animal of that kind. Um, this is where it ended up. It ended up just on Crescenton Beach. Carson Docks just to the left just there, but it only really smells when the wind, you know, gets blown in that direction, but oh yeah. Pretty, pretty nasty thing. Well, a nasty death, I should say. I, I honestly didn't believe today I would come out and find what I think is a dead pony on the beach. Here's a chopper. Not a police one. Uh, do you know what? I honestly, honestly didn't think today I would find a half decomposed animal dead in the River Mersey. Rest in peace, mate. Wow, what a bloody horrible death that must have been. I mean, has it come from over the Mersey? It could have come from anywhere. It could have come from Wales. I just got washed, fell in and washed down the Mersey. I should suspect, maybe just at a guess, it was when we had the um, the really bad storms a few weeks ago and the heavy rains. Maybe it's it slipped in, but whew, Jesus, wow! So, I mean, the video today has now gone from finding nothing to something uh, quite dramatic. And as I say, the only reason for sort of filming the poor little thing was if anyone has lost this animal and you're wondering where it's gone. No matter how far this video goes as far as wherever the video goes if you're losing or if you've lost one of those little things yeah that's where it's ended up <sighs> wow and smell it now the wind's getting yeah it stinks just <sighs> there's a couple of other things as well that i found here did well just the other minute was um something else i'll just show you now now this is the drains for garston docks and a bit of a, a bit of a storm relief from um, by Asda on the Dock Road and all that. Normally, you can get inside and you can go a little bit up river. It's uh, it's it's not sewage. It's um, although it smells a bit effluency, 
it's just household there's no crap goes in that or nothing like that i've just found this now i remember from i'd say the 90s there was something called our lemonade our some our crisps or was it my mum's crisps or my mum's but that i'm pretty sure is from the 90s it's just a just a little bit of plastic like that it's probably been washed down here and it's probably been stuck in there for a while and it's ended up just in this uh but all this needs cleared as well the water does still flow to be fair it's not like it's um it's backing up and whatnot like but yeah pretty significant i'm going to pop it back and if anyone's wondering why i'm popping it back well that's not going to make any difference to all the crap and all the rubbish that is left on the banks of um Crescenton Beach. Just a quick little recap as well. Obviously, I've done two or three videos on this now, so I'm not going to bore you and do another one. But yeah, a World War II pillbox designed in World War II to protect Garston docks for any incoming invasion. The original posts and barbed wire still remain to this day. And this World War II pillbox remains pretty much intact as well. So you can see the the holes there for the gunners you drop down into it and it's divided with a wall inside and it's just made of sheer concrete inside and then brick on the outside as well but i mean just look at that view absolutely bloody amazing someone's on a private little flight or learning to fly a chopper as well that's just taken off from liverpool airport but as i say I, i'm not going to go in there today I'll link in the description there are two or three videos I've done on this in the past and uh, so I'm now going to make my way back and see what I can find other than that dead little animal there so yeah just coming up to halfway now uh, nothing of any significance found just mainly rubbish plastic and crap like this here that's off like a kids playhouse or something i thought it was sort of a garden festival and you know that little tulip emblem but no what's this here what's that <sighs> another another bit of cast iron don't know if you can hear that Air raid siren. Listen to that. How mad is that? So if you were stood in that pillbox, World War II, that's what you're there. That's a vape. Get a bit of glass, maybe. Yeah, I think so. How did I miss that before? <sighs> Another vape, cherry cola. We don't want that, right? So, another significant find. Well, when I say significant, does anyone remember Blackberry phones? That is the remains of one. Um, what model it is, I don't know. But you can clearly see the old Blackberry logo there. So, I thought it was like a toy car at first, but when it turned it over, there's the keypad. Back in the day when Blackberry phones were a thing. So, on the way back so far, these little three items, which I do plan to discard back into the Mersey, because, you know, they're not mine. But if it was a suitcase full of coins and notes and all that, not on be said. So we're just on the flight path as well for John and an airport. And that looks like a uh, Airbus or landing just there. Let's test out this zoom.
and you can see landing gear out and now he's about to approach minimums so just approaching the end now and we're coming to like I mentioned earlier another video which I've made that is a lane dates back from I think something to do with the monks so there's no solid evidence of what it used to be used for but apparently someone said it used to be a slipway for the monks and there's a close just at the back here called I think it's called monks ferry close so as I say I'm not going to walk up that today I'm just going to have a look what's on offer today here because there's always uh, some interesting things that you find and here's one of the first ones which is a mitre it's a delta replica those are big in school them mitre delta if you have one of them you wear the don now last time i come here as well there was loads of rats so there's loads of tennis balls as well and there's loads of footballs that normally get washed up but i'm not going to bother oh god oh god oh god there's another dead animal here another dead animal i nearly stepped on that oh freaking hell what is that oh my god is that another sheep oh heck yeah now jesus christ See if I can just get up top here and have a look. Oh man, God! Let me just double check. There's no dead animals here. I've just seen a rat there. Oh man! Imagine. Oh, that looks like it's going to explode. Imagine standing on that. Now, <sighs> smell that a little bit. My guess is it's probably the same as that one. Now, like I said before, I'm no expert. <sighs> is it a sheep? Possibly, I don't know. I'm not going to delve into that to find out and move anything out the way because that thing looks like it's going to explode. So I'm going to get off here pretty quickly. But yeah, that was back lane. I've done videos in the past go right the way up to pretty much Agbeth Road really the the old gates or the old gate post of Crescenton Park that's where it goes up to but as I said I've done a video on it I'll put it in the, the description by all means go and check it out so yeah I've had my fair share of bloody carcasses for today <sighs> freaking hell I'll have a quick game of football before we get off yeah pretty poor on the Alphines today However, rest in peace, the, uh, the dead animals have made up for it, if that makes sense. So, yeah, but, you know, as I say, when I say I've never failed down here, sometimes I'll come down here and got one item, but it's still a fine, so, you know. So I should imagine maybe you could say that is not a fail. I'm not going to keep them, actually, so. And looking at them, they're not really worth keeping because that just looks like it's off a chandelier so we're going to place them back and then possibly there's no markings on that so there you go have your jewelry back someone up there gardening as well so what's this here little bottle i wonder what this is new or old oh, that's a new one Put that one back. Another vape. Oh, that sun is warm. That sun is really... Oh, there's a condom. Probably come out of there. 
Another one as well. No. Someone's being busy. Oh, and a cocktail as well. And another one. Yeah. Someone's been flushing the Al Johnny's down the toilet. I'm just going to take a walk over here as well, actually. See if I can find anything of any interest over here. Ah, trolley. Let's see where this trolley's from. Let's see if I can get it returned. Ah, that's an Aldi one. You can just see as well those gardens. I mean, look at that. What a view, probably the best view, I'd say, in Liverpool. Oh, so I'm just going to make my way down here. I'm just going to see if I can find anything down here before I get off. It's pretty dry down here, so it should be alright. He says. Nah, it's muddy. Oh. Um. Nah, it's too muddy that. There's some stairs there actually. I'm gonna go down them stairs. Nothing of interest down here though, I'm afraid. It's just a nice little, like whatever that is, where it just bends. And then down there now takes you right towards where I've done a movie about the old Royal Irish Jetty. So you can see how bloody thick that mud is as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get up top. I'm going to go down these stairs and see what's down here. You can see where the old meets the new. Right, here's that staircase. And what's interesting is, there's an old post just there. Which is one that's just down there as well. So, I think the route not to hop over check this out there's an old ring there for tying boats up on so i'm assuming it's some sort of jetty at one point very muddy very very muddy indeed all right let's hop over see what we can find looks interesting really interesting oh Right, let's go take a walk down. Oh, as you can see, a very, very old post. Battered when the tide comes in. Still quite solid, in fact. Something on the wall here. Presumably, it was a... Was that a banister? Yeah, and then that was the... The, the, well, that was to stop you from falling in. So I'm going to take a gentle walk down here and see how far I can get without slipping. And there's the other ring there for the other end of the banister. Whew. Here's another one of those e-scooters as well. Just resting in the mazy. Quite a lot of them along, along here. Whew. Yeah staircase from uh, days gone by obviously no longer in use but it just sat here just mind its own business there's quite a few of these dotted along i've put one or two in previous videos as well but i just thought i'd come and check this one out because there's always something very interesting that you do find from back in the day and it's uh, that sort of makes it all worthwhile just coming down here so you're not going to go any further than that because that is just you're asking for trouble you're asking for the coast guard or to be rescued and i'm not in the market for that today so i'll have to check on all maps actually to see what this used to be back in the day i'm assuming some sort of jetty or landing stage but i'm sure side by side maps will sort that out for me so this unfortunately is the end of the video and i'm just about to hop over now and uh do the outro right so i'm back in the car 
I am bloody knackered and I'm sweating. I think it's about 22 degrees. But uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, I did not expect to find two dead animals today. Uh, one, I think, was a sheep and one, possibly a pony. I don't know. So as I say, if anyone knows what that is, the first one, uh, please drop a comment below. And if you know anyone who's lost one, uh, get in touch with them and let them know where the animals are. But I don't know if they're from over the water. I don't know if they've been dumped there or whatever. But I've never seen... I've been down here. I've been coming down here for at least 10 to 15 years on and off. And I've never come across dead bodies or dead carcasses of animals before. So they're neither A, dumped or the B, they've they've just, I don't know, they've they've fell off uh, somewhere and they've just got washed up. So yeah, um, I'll leave links in the description of previous videos that I've done down here. The World War II bunker and just general finds down here. But yeah, in terms of finds and what I found today, not much, but three items all return back uh, to the sea. And as I say, you know, because they do belong to the, is it treasury or the whatever it is. But like I said before, if it was a massive suitcase full of gold and all whatever, you wouldn't be hearing me say it. I'd just be weighing it in. So yeah, as always, folks, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.